Live streaming on Facebook is great if you want to reach a targeted group of people, like your Facebook friends or a Facebook page or a Facebook group. If you want to live stream across the internet to all of your different social media platforms, like Facebook, YouTube, X, and LinkedIn, then you should be using a live streaming software. In this video, we're going to walk through how to live stream to Facebook organically and how to use a live streaming software to stream simultaneously to multiple social media platforms so you can add things like screen shares and media files throughout the stream and you can get a high quality recording of that live stream that you can edit and repurpose afterwards all on one platform. Let's dive in. If you want to know how to live stream on Facebook organically, this is really simple. Under your status, just press live video and select go live. The first thing that you're going to do is select your video source. So either your webcam or an external streaming software, which we're gonna talk about shortly. But for now, let's just choose our webcam. And then here, you can select what camera you're using and what microphone you're using. A good cheap setup for going live on Facebook is the ATR2100X as your microphone. It's a great mic and you can get it on Amazon. And you can use your phone as an external webcam using a program like Continuity Camera. If you wanna learn more about how to use your phone as an external webcam, I will link a video above. Over here, you can select where you want to post this live stream. So this could be posted on your timeline, you could post it to a page that you manage, or even post it in a group. Then you can choose when you're gonna live stream, if it's now or at a later time, and you can select the audience that you're gonna stream to. Here you're going to want to add a title and description to your stream. So let's do how to live stream. And then in the description, we can put a Riverside tutorial. Once you go live, you'll see your metrics here and you can see any comments and respond to them over here. You can even add a poll to encourage engagement throughout the stream. And if you scroll down here, this is what your stream will look like for your audience. Now Facebook does allow you to stream in 1080p, which is great, but the stream quality will vary on your internet connection speed, so make sure to go live when you have a good connection. Afterwards, you can manually create clips from your video and publish them directly to your page. By default, this live video will post to your timeline. If you wanna change that, you can go into settings, stream, and select unpublish after live video ends. And that's how to live stream on Facebook. But we have some questions to ask here. What if you wanted to go live on your profile and a page and a group all at the same time? Or what if you wanted to have another person live stream with you virtually? What if you wanted to stream to a bunch of different platforms at the same time, like X and LinkedIn and YouTube and Facebook? How can you edit that live video into something more fast paced, engagement driving and visually appealing? For this, you're going to need a live streaming software with editing capabilities. A great one to check out is Riverside and this is all you have to do. Sign up for an account, sign up as quick and easy and you'll want to have the live stream add on. And then you'll create a new studio with this plus button here and call it live streaming. Enter the studio here. And on this page, you can select any equipment that you'd like. Try to have a high quality USB mic. Like I mentioned earlier, the ATR 2100X is a great choice. And you can also seamlessly connect your mobile phone as an external webcam. I'll link a video on that above to help you get set up. This will enhance the quality of your live stream and will allow you to download the final recording in up to 4K. If you have other people joining you in the live stream, I recommend using headphones. So this is your new live streaming studio. Now, when you are live streaming, it's important to find a platform that allows you to stream in either 720p or 1080p to strike a balance between high quality and connection speed. In the settings of this studio, under live stream, you can set your streaming resolution to either 720p or 1080p here on Riverside. No matter what streaming resolution you use, your final recorded live stream will be available to download in up to 4K. You can connect your different platforms here or let's exit out of that. You'll see up here the live streaming toggle where you can also set up your streams. So you can live stream directly on Riverside by sending anybody this link right here. So maybe you would send this link to your email list. Then here, you can set up a bunch of different platforms. And if you connect all your platforms, you will have the ability to toggle them on and off so you can choose where you're streaming to in any given stream. So let's set up Facebook here. So you can choose to stream to your Facebook profile or to a Facebook page. If we select Facebook profile, you can easily select your profile. 
your profile is now connected. It's seriously that easy. You can also simultaneously connect to different pages. So I would press this plus button, head down to Facebook again, select Facebook page, continue with Facebook, and then you can assign what pages Riverside has access to, or you can opt in to all of your pages and even future pages as well. Then you'll choose which page you wanna stream live to, and your Facebook page is connected. Now, if you wanted to stream live to another Facebook page, you would do the same thing. You would just add it on again. And of course, you can stream live to other platforms as well, YouTube, LinkedIn, X, Twitch. There's a bunch of options for you there. Right here, you can title your live stream and give it a description. If you wanted to invite anybody to be a part of the recording, you would either send them this link or you would invite them by email. On certain plans, you can brand your studio. So you can add a logo. You can choose the way your name looks right here. You can add different colors and you can also have this branding represented in the lobby as well. This is what the lobby will look like if you or anyone else joins. Once you press go live, the live stream will start on Riverside. It will also start on any platforms that you've connected it to and the recording of the live stream will start as well. Throughout the stream, you can do things like share your screen or a presentation. You could also share media files like an introduction or a countdown. You can also add lower thirds to your video with this text button. This is great for emphasizing certain points or adding calls to action. If we go up here to the live stream dropdown, you'll see beside each platform, you'll be able to see how many people are watching on that given platform. And if you head over here to the chat function, you'll be able to chat with people directly on Riverside and you'll have access to OmniChat, which means all of the chats from all of the different platforms that you're streaming to will be available to see right here on the platform so you can respond to them and engage in real time. If an audience member is watching your live stream on the Riverside platform, they'll also have the option to call in live to be part of the stream. This is fantastic for encouraging audience engagement. So when you end the stream, this will end the stream across all platforms that Riverside is connected to, and it will end the recording. You'll see here that the recording will start uploading to the cloud. Once it's uploaded and processed, you'll have a transcription of your video, and you'll also have separate tracks to download of every participant, screen shares, media files, and presentations. And you can download these all individually. Here, you'll see the edit button. In the editor, you can do a ton of things. You can delete parts of your live stream by highlighting over the part you want deleted in the text-based editor, pressing delete on your keyboard, and that section will be deleted out of the final video. Up here, you can do things like remove silences from your recording, remove filler words from your recording, and even enhance your audio with AI. Over here, you have a ton of tools to customize the final recording. You can switch the layout of the video. You can brand your video. You can add animated captions for accessibility and to encourage engagement. And you can even add text and image overlays. Here you can upload additional content or previous recordings to place within the video. So this is great for an intro or an ad. And then up here, you can export your final video in up to 4K, depending on your camera. That was a very brief overview of the editor, but if you wanna know more about the things you can do with it, I'll link a video above and in the description to help you out. Your video will export, and soon it will be available to download on this page. Also on this page, you will see a magic clips button. This is going to scan the recording and pick the most informative and engaging parts of your video and cut them into clips to share on social media. You can edit them using all of the tools in the editor and then download them for posting. You can also use this AI show notes feature. This is going to give you a summary, keywords, takeaways, titles, sound bites, and chapter markers from your recording. This is gonna help with making video descriptions and titles and tags for when you share this video out. So you came here to figure out how to live stream on Facebook, and now you know how to live stream everywhere with the same amount of work and all the other added benefits of using a live streaming platform. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more about live streaming and high quality content creation in general, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. We post a bunch of videos every week that are going to help you make content that works harder for you. If you wanna learn more about the Riverside Editor, I'm going to leave a video here that will help you out and you can watch it next. Catch you later.